what's going on there, YouTube. Uh, just had some stuff on my mind here. And, uh, you know, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. I really do, man. And, uh, you know, I we're always growing. We're always growing. Uh, growing in the Lord, you know. And uh, it's a never-ending thing when you're steadily chasing God's face. You know, um, you're going to continue to learn and grow. And the Word of God is going to get into your mind and your heart. Most importantly, your heart. Because a lot of people, they could remember Scripture but they don't live scripture. And if it gets in your heart, you'll start to live it instead of just knowing it. Knowing it is good, but living it is better. <clears throat> and what I see is a, we're supposed to exhort each other, uh, pull each other up, set the bar, if you will, to those who are babes in Christ. Or to those who are weaker than we are in Christ. Um, we're called to be sober-minded. And since we're called to be sober-minded, it's pretty much a commandment we're supposed to live by. A lot of people just say, okay, Ten Commandments, you, <laughs> you, broke, a ten, you broke one of the ten, you know. You know, a lot of people, some people live, try to live out the law. All the laws in Leviticus, Deuteronomy, you know, or uh, sorry, Exodus and Leviticus and of the Torah, you know, and um, of course, we all fall short of the glory of God. Thanks be to Christ that he drank from that cup at the cross for all of us. But. Grace doesn't give us the right to indulge and continue in sin. We're to strive for holiness, you know. We're to strive for it, chase it. Though the only one that's really been able to do it is Christ, who died for us, the ultimate sacrifice. So that we might have eternal life. I see so many people on here. They they'll they'll say, "Well, I don't have any. I don't have nothing wrong with this, or I don't have nothing wrong with that." Well, then, are you truly living Christ-like? Because if you are living and seeking God. You're gonna con you're gonna continually grow to hate the things that God hates. That's a fact, and that's how you you will know my faith by my works. And a lot of people take the works thing out of proportion. And think that it's always doing something for others. Instead of doing something for your growth. The growth of yourself in Christ. That's a work. You will know my faith by my works. How I am. A walking, living testimony of a true Christian. A true believer, born again Christian. What is it to, for you to look and see somebody and you go, man, I know that they have a great relationship with Christ. They have a great relationship with God, the Holy Spirit. You can see it in them. And then you're around that person and they don't drink and they don't drug and they don't do these things that they used to do or that the world still does. And worldly, lukewarm Christians will say, well, I don't have a problem with that. You should have a problem with it. I wouldn't voice that. I'm going to stand 
and believe in what God stands and believes in. God's ways are not our ways. They're higher than our ways. So if we continue in our ways, then we're not trying to fulfill His ways or, or trying to bring His ways into our life because we're still continuing in, in our ways. <coughs> Man. I'm not perfect by any means. But I know that this is truth. This is truth. And when you see people saying that they don't have a problem with things that God has a problem with, pull them up, exhort them, warn them, tell them that they are, you know, you, you claim to be a Christian, but yet you're okay with certain things. God's not, God is the same yesterday, today, forever, right? So if he hated it back then, he hates it today, right? And the things that he hates today, he's going to hate in 10 years. He's going to hate in a thousand years. <coughs> There's a verse, and I think it's in Philippians, where Paul says, you know, that he can't find any like-minded people because I can guarantee you he was walking in a way that most believers weren't. He was striving to be holy. Be holy for I am holy. What does that mean? It means that we should apply the word not only to our lives but we can't be okay with things that God's not okay with oh but Jesus drank with with the you know with the drank with people and stuff but I can guarantee you he didn't get drunk he wasn't a belligerent drunk he wasn't one that their eye he was so buzzed that his eyes were heavy He was there for a purpose. And his self-control is way, way stronger than any of ours. And people try to put themselves on pedestals like they have the control to, 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 um, to be that. Self-controlling. <laughs> Sometimes I can't think of stuff. I know I don't always say things correctly either. Like my, my brain is, uh, it is never stop. It never shuts down. It's, it's, I have so many thoughts and, um, I don't take medication anymore. I used to take medication, but I, I stopped that. You know, I'm, I'll be going on eight years with no meds because I believe and the power thereof. And I believe that I have the mind of Christ. I believe that people can change. That is the power thereof. People that don't believe people can change. They don't. Whether if they say that they're a Christian, they do not believe in the power of God, because the power of God can change anybody. Anybody. And I mean anybody. <laughs> There's nothing that he cannot do. Look around you. Have you have you scoped it out? <laughs> so. But if you go read Titus. Okay. If you go read Titus. Let's go into Titus real quick. And um, oh, this way, dude. Come on, dude. You know, I I haven't been reading to you guys. I've been I've been just I've uh, been going through a lot of things and and um, um, 
I thought I was getting into a relationship with a, a female. You know, I'm divorced now. and um, But I've recently made up my mind that I'm in no hurry, man. I'm in no hurry to get into another relationship with a with a female. Um, and um, I just want to to focus. <clears throat> it's hard to turn with one hand. Uh, I just want to focus on. <clears throat> Titus, okay. Titus is a real short book, and uh, like really super short, but it's only three chapters, so uh, be easy read for y'all that don't read a lot. <laughs> but uh, so. And it's talking about, you know, in Titus, proper conduct of a, of a born-again true believer in Jesus Christ. The proper conduct. And uh, well, I think I want to start reading here in... Uh, Let's see here. I'm going to go to Titus chapter 1. And I think I'm just going to read it, man. I'm just going to read it. It's only three chapters, no? So let's go. Paul, a bondservant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with godliness in hope of eternal life which God who cannot lie promised before time began but has in due time manifested his word through preaching which was committed to me according to the commandment of God our Savior hmm God our Savior God our Savior Hmm. To Titus, a true son in our common faith. Okay. We are to be in one accord. We are to be like-minded in our conduct. Like-minded in our conduct. Okay. I have a I have a lot of shortcomings in conduct. I'm very fast spoken. Um, I've gotten better, but I and I've really gotten better on my temper. I'm, I mean, I have gotten I have leaps and bounds on my temper. I haven't been in a fist fight in years now. No one, <laughs> one in years now. <laughs> <laughs> with my brother, one of my brothers. But anyway, so um, uh, verse 4 says, To Titus, the true son of our common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord, and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Did you catch that? Back up here it says, According to the commandment of God our Savior. Hold on. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Hmm. One and in the same. Again. Just caught that myself. Anyway. For this reason I, I, I left you in Crete, that you should set in order the things that are lacking and appoint elders in every city as I commanded you. If a man is blameless, the husband of one wife having faithful children not accused of dissipation or insubordination, for a bishop must be blameless 
as a steward of God, not self-willed, not quick-tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but hospitable, a lover of what is good, sober-minded, just, holy, self-controlled. This is a bishop. Overseer. Okay. Somebody that's well in years in the faith. Okay. Not age. Well in years in the faith. <clears throat> Verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and convict those who contradict. Okay. For there are many insubordinate, both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole households, teaching things which they ought not, for the sake of dishonest gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This testimony is true. Therefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. Hmm. Verse 15. To the pure, all things are pure. But to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their mind and conscience are defiled. They profess to know God, but in works they deny Him. <clears throat> what works? Is that talking about they profess to know God, but in works they deny Him? That's our conduct. How we are. Those are works, people. Our conduct and how we are are works. Okay. Being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. But as for you, chapter 2, But as for you, speak the things which are proper for sound doctrine, that the older men be sober, reverent, temperate, sound in faith, and love in patience. The older women likewise, that they be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not given too much, given to too much wine. Teachers of good things, that they admonish, that they admonish the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, homemakers, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Likewise, exhort the young men to be sober-minded. I see people on YouTube, and I've called them out. I haven't been back on there to see if they still do it, but I hope they stopped. Because what are you teaching the next generation has a lot to do with a lot. Likewise, exhort the young men to be sober-minded. That doesn't mean five days out of the week. That means seven days every day. Okay. <clears throat> in all things, showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. In all things, showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing integrity, reverence, incorruptibility, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That one who is, I know, sound, sound speech. I was just brought up on my speech recently. Sound speech that cannot be condemned, that one who is an opponent may be ashamed, having nothing evil to say of you. Exhort bondservants to be obedient to their own masters, to be well-pleasing in all things, not answering back, not proliferating, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. 
the doctrine of God our Savior. There it is again, man. You guys, you got to catch it. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly. That we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. Looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed. And purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. Zealous. Not thirsty Thursdays or thirsty Tuesdays or thirsty any day you might as well be smacking God in the face it, 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 it upsets me <laughs> you know it does <laughs> who gave himself for us that he might redeem us for every lawless deed Redeem that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. Speak these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no one despise you. Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceful, peaceable gentle showing all humility to all men for we ourselves were also once foolish disobedient deceived deceived serving various lusts and pleasures living in malice and envy and hateful and hating one another but when the kindness of the love of our god and savior toward man appeared not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I want you to affirm constantly, that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable to men. But avoid foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions, and strivings about the law. For they are unprofitable and useless. Reject a divisive man after the first and second admonition. admonition knowing that such a person is warped and sinning, being self-condemned. When I send Arminius, Art, Artemius, Artemis to you, or Tychius, Tychius, be diligent to come to me in Nic Nicop Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Send Zenus, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey with haste, that they may lack nothing. And let our people also learn to maintain good works, to meet urgent needs, that they may not be unfruitful. All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. You know, be careful. Be vigilant of who you listen to on YouTube. I don't have a whole lot of followers. I don't even care. I mean, I... I care, but I don't care. <coughs> I would love to win the more, to be more in tune with Titus. Because it does <laughs> matter. It matters. It matters how we live. It matters how we're seen. You will know my faith by my works. Have I slipped and, and fell short in these areas? Yes. 
I thought about having a few drinks here recently, but I didn't give in to it. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We are the resistance, folks. My brothers and sisters, we are the resistance. James 4, 7. We are the resistance. We are called to be sober-minded. Not just in drink and drug and sober-minded in all things, man. In temperament, self-control, and, and with all humility, <laughs> with, to be humble. Does that mean don't protect yourself? No. <laughs> but if you can walk away from it, walk away from it. I will. I used to not be like that. One of my uncles used to tell me, you just can't help it, huh? You just got to fight, don't you? You have to instigate. You got to cause something to happen. I don't want to be known like that. I want to be known as the person that finishes, not starts something. I want to be a finisher. You guys be blessed today. God over everything. Jesus is my king. He's my savior. God is my savior. Holy Spirit, thank you. I know that you're my savior. Lord Jesus, I know that you're my savior. Father God, I know that you're my savior. I know that you three work in, in accordance with each other. And you are one and in the same. Thank you, Father. You guys, you guys have a great night. Hope you guys have a great new year. I've been trying to just work and and provide and, and, and do what I can for my family. My Some of my family's been going through it. And, you know, I'm, I think I'm, gonna, I'm fixing to help them some. And I don't have a whole lot, man. <laughs> But I have it all because everything's my dad's. Everything's my father's. We don't take nothing with us. Everything's daddy's, man. Be obedient. He's our, he's our healer. He's our protector. He's our provider. Don't deny the power thereof. And yeah, I get I get stressful sometimes and I but I have to remember and I think I'm going, hold on a second here. Yeah, I don't have any money in my pocket, but my bills are paid. I got gas in my vehicle in case I need to go do a job that I know daddy's got right around the corner for me. Just when I need it the most. Or somebody else needs it. Because I'll help them. Bye.